Friday brings to us for this segment uh, our former producer, fabulous producer John Daly. Hey, how about it for John Daly, everybody? Fabulous hey. producer John hey, Daly. Y'all. Yeah, what is going on with you, fabulous producer John Daly? Oh, what, I've, just, uh, I've had a busy week. Yeah, you had have you. <laughs> <laughs> What uh, what kind of things uh, go on in your busy? I have a busy. Did you week. did you take any of the uh, driverless uh, you know vehicles around San Francisco in the last week or so? Yes, and I haven't been parking around the city, so um, I don't think uh. a handful of cars is going to have a huge impact on parking. No, uh, you'd I need to drop. Cru- a... Cruise has like twelve vehicles. Yeah, you'd need yeah. to drop a real um, uh, serious number. But yeah. I guess the study suggests that it's going to have to be a real serious number to have an impact. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's thousands uh, and thousands of cars, tens of yeah. thousands of cars. Um, I uh, will remind you that if you want to see a 60 second trip that John Daly and I actually took in a, and what do you call it? A autonomous drive- vehicle. Uh, what is it called? Autonomous, right? Autonomous vehicle. Yeah. yeah autonomous vehicle. I'm trying to use a technical term. Uh, you can find it there on our uh, on our channel, the Mark Thompson Show channel. We have a uh, these shorts, and one of the shorts is uh, Daily and myself taking this uh, fabulous producer uh, John autonomous uh, vehicle ride. Leaving the Red Jack, leaving that's, the Red Jack Saloon. That's, yes, yeah, that's leaving the Red Jack. The, the night you guys went out drinking. Yeah, we went out to to the Red Jack, and of course yeah. we, you know, the Red Jack people who we love, and we love mm-hmm. hanging out there. But the people we, you know, went to see, Lori and Mark, they were not up. It was like 1030 at night. And the bartender said, oh, yeah, they're probably asleep upstairs. So, uh, but we had a lot of fun taking the, uh, well, taking some time and hanging out there and also going in the autonomous vehicle. I'd never been in one. So, Uh, but anyway, it's great to have you in the mix. We've got everybody here. We are at full strength with Albert on board, with uh, Daly, with Kim, myself, And on Fridays, my friends, we like to feature news from the state that never disappoints. I mean, sure, it can be sad, it can be serious, it can also be weird and bizarre and edgy and awful. Fentanyl-laced. Yes, fentanyl-laced grotesqueness. It's all there. This is Friday Fabulous Florida. It's time for Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. A look at the weirdest stories from our weirdest state. You are not real. You are demons, said this Florida man to underage kids before allegedly exposing himself. Oh, he's looking for a loophole. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. A 58-year-old Boca guy arrested Friday night last week after uttering a puzzling phrase to several juveniles, then flashing his genitals at the group. How old are the kids? Well, uh, does it matter? Less, <laughs> less, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, thirty-seven would still well, be too young. They were There's never been anything no. like this. Uh, yeah, uh, they were less than sixteen years old um, because that was the charge. They charge him with lewd and lascivious behavior with a victim less than sixteen years old. So I don't have the uh, the actual yeah. ages. There were four of these kids. They were walking on Northeast Fourteenth Court. You know where that is, John? Right, approaching. By Whole Foods. Yeah, North Federal Highway. And he was hiding in the bushes wearing a black shirt with his shorts pulled down and underwear. Oh, God. Uh, as they were walking they've got by. they down, right? They have a system. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess. You have to um, hide in the bushes, you know. According to the uh, arrest report, the underage kids became frightened. They ran to a KFC restaurant nearby. And uh, they arrest this uh, guy who is reportedly, um, uh, I don't see any details about him. Sorry, I was trying to trying to learn something about who the guy was, like what he did for a living or whatever. His address is listed at large by (laughs) by the Palm Beach County Jail. So I think he's a, I would say vagrant probably. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How dare you, Kim? 
Well, yeah. if, you have, if your address is at large, I'm he lives in a on. bush. Leave him alone. <laughs> I think. Come on. Uh, but as bushes go, it was one of the nicer ones. The uh, uh, I never understood that kink where you know you flash your jet. What I don't quite get that flashing thing. I, I just never understood it. Like really, that's your kink? It's like a captive audience control thing. It's like the naked guys walking around San Francisco. Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, but sometimes I think that's just, you know, being so out of it that you're the naked guy walking around San oh, Francisco. Oh, a lot of these guys are sober. Like, I've talked to oh, some really? of them. Yeah, they just, they're just exhibitionists. They're, they're nudists, yeah. are they? Okay. That's well. to get off on controlling. That's real. <laughs> There's a like difference the though, between audience. being an exhibitionist and, you know, showing someone yourself on purpose, like looking at that person and opening your jacket. Like, it's almost like control. Like, you don't have control yeah. over what you're seeing, but I do. That's what I, I that's what I say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what uh, John was just mentioning. You're right. So uh, we'll turn you to uh, <laughs> turn you two PhDs over on this one, and uh, you can work on it. Um, a Florida man is bitten by a seven and a half foot alligator while snorkeling in water that was designated for swimming, but also had the designation "use caution." Uh, it's no it was North Florida. Um, but I mean, again, it was deemed safe for swimming this week, but they did have the sign posted use yeah, that's caution like, that's like Sarah, that's like florida standards right yeah exactly well, i don't quite know it's safe. right uh the man <laughs> whose mean, name hasn't been released to the public um he was bit in the alexander springs recreation area in the is it ocala national forest ocala. You know where that is john yeah um and uh he was reportedly helped by workers um at this place where it's a fully permitted area for outdoor recreation. Um, the staff responded, quote, quickly and appropriately, clearing guests from the swim area. And you know, this is not their public. first time. Uh, yeah. They're like, yeah. go, go, go. Yeah. Uh, right. When I when I said it was safe, I uh, guess I misspoke. I, right. I, right. Um, yeah, I. John. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, the alligator looks happy. Um, the captured alligator was considered a nuisance alligator, meaning the animal does pose a threat to people, pets, or property, um, and was removed by a trapper. And uh, the uh, usually they honestly they euthanize the creatures. But so. now we know who was putting up the signs. We got <laughs> a Florida man is going to give vasectomies to peacocks. Yeah, it's uh, and this is their new hoax. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, that sounds like a kink. Yeah, that is uh, a specialty for certain. Uh, shielded by county law for decades, peacocks in Pinecrest, Florida, are no longer off limits to trappers. And Don Harris is the Florida man who's eager to get his hands on the birds. Uh, they lined up Harris to perform hundreds of rapid pre-fowl vasectomies after the village secured an exemption this week from this strict rule against trapping peacocks. There is a rule against it in Miami-Dade County. Trappers hired by the village will respond to resident requests for Pea fowl sterilizations. It's pea fowl, I guess. The pea fowl are peacocks, correct? Yeah. Uh, the upside of peacocks is they're beautiful. Everybody knows that, he said. The downside is they can do damage to property. They will see their reflection in a car and attack the car. They roost on fences, on tops of cars, and on roofs, and they do damage there. And they're vocal. They're very vocal. Wow. That's not fake. Okay. That's yeah, real. All right. Yeah. Uh, they budgeted 7500 a month for what's being described as a pilot program that could expand to other municipalities that are also facing resident gripes about peacock noise, pecking damage, uh, bird waste on sidewalks, cars, and roofs. You thought San Francisco had problems. Yeah, we don't have bird waste. Not yet. Not yet. Wait until Ron DeSantis starts exporting the peacocks with the immigrants to San Francisco. A, F a Florida woman arrested twice in one day for theft. And I, I'm, yeah, my hat's off, you know. 
You got to do what you love, everybody. Am I right? Yeah. A woman from Florida arrested twice. This just happened on Sunday. She attempted to steal a vehicle in Paducah, Kentucky. She's from Florida. After getting out of jail for the stealing of that vehicle, <laughs> she stole a separate vehicle from outside the public library downtown. So she's just trying to get home. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, it's a wild idea, but it just might work. It's work-ish. Uh, he was loading groceries, this dude was, in the back of his Dodge pickup truck. You may be wondering, you know, how you steal vehicles. It wouldn't seem too easy. Google it. Yeah, but she's a 59-year-old, and um, she saw this dude loading groceries into the back of his Dodge pickup truck while his wife was sitting in the passenger seat. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, big, big bang, you know, uh, carry the five. And before you know it, she's off to the races in their truck. I am the captain now. Yeah, I gotta, <laughs> she um, was arrested on then another charge of uh, stealing a vehicle. So uh, bravo, though, for knocking down, uh, you know, that's what this country used to be. You know, quality hard work before all the slackers showed up. You know who I'm talking about. Albert, thank you. Uh, wait a minute. What? Wow. That was two, two, two theft jobs in one day. I have mad and respect she, for that. That's she the American looks kind life. of respectable. I mean, I guess she's got a nice top. She's not like, doesn't have crazy eyes. She, <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised at her behavior. She, she I have can to ask say that, old ladies. Yeah. <laughs> she's classy. Book. Kim evaluates uh, people... The same way my Courtney evaluates people okay. based on what they're wearing. Ooh, I love so, that top. Look at it. Oh my God, she had a cute top. I thought she was, <laughs> I loved her. Oh my God, did you see that top? She was wearing police. I thought, oh my God, she's a terrific lady. That, oh, please, those shoes. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> all right, fine. I guess we have different uh, things that it's we respond perfect to. perfect for summer. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, this from Smyrna Beach, Florida. A 48 year old Florida man was bitten on his back by a shark while he was sitting in the water off New Smyrna Beach. Ah. Yeah. The lake, um, I'm sorry, the Lake Worth man, he's a man from Lake Worth, <laughs> referred to as the Lake Worth man, uh, suffered minor <laughs> injuries and refused to be taken to a hospital. So it could have been that bad. I'm the Lake Worth I'm man. I'm the Lake Worth man. <laughs> the Lake Worth man coming. <laughs> You'll never be able to swim away from the <laughs> Lake Worth man. A day prior uh, to this, a 21-year-old DeLand man was bitten by a shark and seriously injured while surfing off in New Smyrna Beach. So this is the same beach. This guy's just sitting by the beach, and he is bitten. Taken to a hospital, non-life-threatening injuries. Uh... But it just speaks to the danger, nonetheless. A Florida man catches a burglar sleeping in the front yard. This is in Jackson County, Florida. According to cops in Jackson County, deputies got a call from this dude saying that he found a man sleeping in a vehicle in his front yard. They, uh, the guy attempted to make contact with the suspect. And the guy started, the suspect, if you want to call him that, the guy sleeping in the front yard, started frantically reaching around inside the vehicle. He had armed himself with a weapon for his protection. When deputies arrived, they secured the suspect and the victim's weapon. Sounds like kind of a chaotic scene. What can you tell us? What can you tell us about the scene? It's a bit chaotic, Larry. There's a guy who's fallen asleep in his vehicle on someone else's lawn. What can you tell us about the scene? Deputies immediately saw burglary tools and a mask in plain view. Wow. <laughs> he has the burglary kit right there in plain view when the cops show up. And it was had big letters titled burglary kit. I mean, really, uh, no, no, it didn't. I made the way. A search of the vehicle revealed a crowbar, lockpick, gloves, masks, knives, brass knuckles, prescription medication. If you and, get them in order. And drug paraphernalia. If you get it in order, you get extra points. Wow, that's a lot to get in order. Crowbar, lockpick, gloves, masks, knives, brass knuckles, prescription medication, and drug paraphernalia. He was packed, uh, ready to go. He really was. You got to, again, 
give him some credit for, you know, packing for all circumstances. Right. You know? Uh, and then, I guess the packing took a lot out of him. He fell asleep uh, and just couldn't find a parking spot, so he parked on somebody's lawn. I'm guessing he might have gotten into the prescription medication on that one, you know? I found I'm, somebody uh, in my truck one night at uh, 4 a.m. coming back. Is that right? I'd yeah. be willing to bet my lunch that there's alcohol what, involved. What, what, how did that happen? What happened there? Uh, so I was visiting my parents, and I left my Chevy S10 pickup truck. This is when I was in my 20s, I think, out in front of their house. And I came back, and I saw, as I'm driving a different vehicle past my truck, I see legs hanging out of the cab of the no! vehicle. And my first thought was, oh, my God, my dad had a stroke. You know, sure. Yeah, like moving my truck or something like that. And then I go inside and I take inventory of my parents. Uh, and then I called 911 because I was like, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm in the suburbs. This guy might have a gun. You know, who knows? Sure, sure. And uh, the officer came and he had been stealing like those torch lights that the the ones that people have in their front yard. Like right, from the of entire course. neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone like a door to door oh light God. thief. And, uh, he that had, is, he had that's, the such a, lights. that's such a weak caper you know what i mean that's just like he's like uh really? are these uh i don't know are these right. battery operated solar right. powered yeah i hope you didn't plan that because that is a weak <laughs> caper um uh, wow that's wild though well yeah. um you'll appreciate this i mean the great thing about albert curating is that he does sort of move things thematically through the segment well and he's so an artist are, mark he is. Albert is an artist. And He's Albert, a radio thank you. Artist. This R -A. is this is our big finish, and it involves again uh, stealing and uh, stealing a car. But in this case, it, it's much bigger than that. Florida woman steals fire truck. Everybody ah. and, and impersonates a firefighter. Come on, Ooh, very it's a strong. Idea, but it just might work. Yes. It's well, a that, very strong move. That takes range. It does. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're not only involved in theft. Right. You're involved in a kind of theater, which right. is passing yourself off as the firefighter. So mad respect already for this Florida woman. <laughs> she um, is accused of stealing a fire truck and impersonating a firefighter. It's the Suwanee County Sheriff's Office. That reports Belinda Dolores Waugh, 44, took off with a fire truck. They always she have was, three names, Mark. Always. Yeah. Florida, but when you, always have, yep. Because that's when they book you, they yeah. take your full name. And so when the journalists report it, they write down the full name. So you're right. When you see the three names, you know there's been an arrest. When the fire chief visited the station to respond to a call, he discovered the truck was gone. This Belinda Dolores Wall, who uh, spent the night at the Welburn Volunteer Fire Department station because she was, of course, uh, pretending to be an actual firefighter. Uh, <laughs> She's like, she I'm here for my Airbnb. Yeah. She did call the station. And, like, if you stole the truck, why would you call the station? Because she ran out of gas everybody oh. in the and she needed help from the actual firefighters what he's got going so, here is a situation <laughs> yeah deputies uh tracked down the truck and she said she was a volunteer firefighter of course uh she didn't sign up yeah she was not on the official roster and was not authorized to use a, a fire truck and she was booked on charges of grand theft, my favorite theft, grand theft, and fraud impersonating a firefighter. And with Brenda. that, uh, we wrap uh, the, the uh, group of stories today. But we do need to, as you know, it's a piece of boilerplate business, pick a favorite. And it is like picking between children. We love them all, but must choose one. Drug-addled children. And so <laughs> I'll remind you of what you've just heard. There's a lot of Florida coming at you. You might have lost track. Albert, are you also running a poll, or did you not have time to do that today? Albert? No? Albert's in and out. Albert, thank you. All right. Uh, if there's a poll, you can vote in the poll. Um, the, uh, the man who said that uh, uh, as he 
exposed himself. You are not real. You are demons. He uh, exposed himself to uh, youngsters, underage kids, and uh, he was uh, arrested. There he is in all his glory. Uh, that was just the appetizer in today's Florida segment. We moved right into a seven and a half foot alligator that chomped a swimmer in water that was designated for swimming. Then the Florida man who is giving vasectomies to peacocks because the peacocks have become a nuisance to a population of humans in Florida. A Florida woman arrested twice in one day for theft. Two cars in one day. One person. Impressive. But maybe not our favorite. A Florida man bitten on the back by the shark as he sat there on New Smyrna Beach. A Florida man catching the burglar sleeping in his front yard. And the Florida woman accused of impersonating a firefighter after stealing the fire truck and uh, running out of gas with it. Boy, that is a brutal booking photo. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if very, you're watching on YouTube. Very artsy. Yeah, yeah is she, that a filter? That looks like a filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, does, it is. Or an filter. AI photo. Yeah. 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 Even with the IG filter, it's pretty brutal. You know. Uh, She's like, I want to put this on Instagram. Can I? Uh, yeah, right. Can you? Can I have a copy of that booking the, photo? Yeah, can you send me a copy of that, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will uh, need to pick a favorite, and we will start with you, fabulous producer John. Fabulous Daly. producer yeah. John Daly. Yeah. I'd like to go with the guy sleeping in the truck because I can relate on a personal mm. level, but I think I have to go with stolen fire truck. Stolen fire truck is strong. really strong. I agree. Like, she put a lot of effort into that script. Yeah. Yeah. It was a caper. She had to start yeah. the night before she slept there at the fire station, pretended right. to be a firefighter. Yeah. That's dedication. I mean, with yeah. all the acting, she probably shouldn't have done it because you know, they're on strike. It was a, it was a perfect method acting job for uh, her. That's right. it. Uh, who knew? Uh, and Albert, Oh, what was your favorite, sir? Uh, it's a terrible story, but just, just on, when I see headlines, it really grabs my attention. And that first one, terrible, terrible guy, by the way, like exposing himself to underage folks. But, uh, yeah. he sees, he's see, seeing the demons really got me. I, I just think that's a hilarious headline. <laughs> yeah. You are not real. You are demons. You yeah. are not yeah. exactly. Yeah. I just, yeah. So you, you, it wasn't, so had it just been the exposure of the genitals that wouldn't have been enough to put him over the top but he was him exclaiming as he did yeah you are not real you are demons that makes him a favorite for you yeah i tell myself that all the time when i'm going through any situations so. okay <laughs> <laughs> albert thank you all right and uh, kim how about it what is your favorite kim, how are you i was kind of rolling toward peacock vasectomies but i think <laughs> i have to go i have to go fire stolen fire truck i mean yeah. if not for the booking photo alone i just feel like you know, the audacity to then go into the firehouse and pretend that you work there. I, I don't know. I'm going with that. Yeah. And the one detail, I also am going with stolen fire truck, yeah. primarily because she ran out of gas. Yeah. I just yeah. love that. And she has to call back to the station going, hey, uh, you know, yeah. That's out a of weird nature. reason to call. I thought you were going to say she needed directions or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, too, too good. So and uh, the chat did agree. 65% of the, the poll is the woman stealing the fire truck. Oh, women still in the front. There she is. Uh, it's a good. There's a reason and this, that this place, place is, is fun. fun. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that is Friday Fabulous Florida for today. This has been Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah? On Daily, I uh, thank you for being here. And I have to go back and see my dad next week. So you, uh, I'll be here for a part of the week, but next Friday I'll have to be traveling back to the West Coast. At least that's the plan. You, John Daly, I hope will be here to help fill out the field as Kim. Are you saying you're ha going to have a busy week? I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I have a busy I week. do have a busy week. Are you, uh, but are you, will you be here next Friday to fill well, out the Well, I theme? will now because you're doing that thing talk show hosts do like Pat Thurston where you like rope the guest into coming yeah. back. Can you stay in over the break? Can you stay <laughs> yeah, yeah, over the break? Yeah, uh, okay. next week. Can I book you right now on the air? Yeah, it's true. It, 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 in fact, Love you, Pat. It, 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 <laughs> the, uh, 
and the breaks, you know, sometimes are nine minutes. And you go, okay, can you stay yeah. over the commercial? They were thinking, oh, a couple of com- couple of minutes of commercial. Like, sure, I guess. Market everybody. volatility. That's real. Market yeah. volatility. <laughs> Fabulous <laughs> producer, John Daly. Uh, all right, uh, John, thank you for being here. And uh, I'm counting on you next week. John Daly, everybody. Yeah, love our John Daly. All right. Uh, much. Hi, it's Mark. And I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell. You'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped. And please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.